Hey guys, my name is Rishabh and in this video we're going to see what makes more sense buying a Mac or building your own Hackintosh. So when you buy a new computer, the first thing that comes to your mind is is it cost effective. Uh, with the Mac, uh, maybe it is, uh, you can't really be sure. Uh, with the Hackintosh, yeah, it's cost effective. You can build a Hackintosh for less than $500. Uh, but then when it comes to things like Thunderbolt, uh, say you need Thunderbolt for something and uh, with the hacking brush, you would really have to spend a lot of money to get a motherboard that has Thunderbolt. You would be spending like half the money you would spend on the Mac Mini, and then you would spend on like your casing and hard drives and all the rest of the hardware. So in that case, maybe the Mac Mini is more cost effective. So it really depends on uh, what is more cost effective, and uh, it's your decision. Uh, secondly, uh, what what happens when you buy your computer? What if something goes wrong? Uh, what about servicing? Or uh, with the Mac, you get Apple protection plan if you buy it, and so for three years they kind of sorted. You can just take the computer to your iStore, and they're going to fix it for you. Uh, with the Hackintosh, it's pretty much do it yourself. You need to know your computer. Something goes wrong, you need to fix it yourself, or you need a guy to do it, and you need to pay someone to do it, basically. Thirdly, uh, I guess it's about the hardware. Uh, is the hardware upgradable? Uh, with the Mac. It's really not that upgradable. You buy the Mac Mini, you buy the iMac or MacBook Pro or something. You can't really upgrade. The maximum you can do is like just get it to the maximum potential RAM limit. That's it. If the Mini supports 16 GB, I get 16 GB of RAM. There's nothing beyond that you you can do the, do to the hardware basically. Uh, with the Hackintosh, you can pretty much put in anything that your machine can take and uh, anything that the OS is going to support. So your CPU gets old, you can swap it with a new CPU, your RAM stick maybe damages or you need a faster RAM stick, you can just do it yourself and it's pretty easy to do it, like, you know, it, you have control over your machine, you can do stuff yourself and that's pretty awesome. But when it comes to software, you really need to be careful with the Hackintosh. Or uh, With the Mac, you can just press upgrade or you can just get the new OS that comes out from the App Store and click install, everything is done, all your apps are there, all your files are there. But with the Hackintosh, you pretty much need to wipe your hard drive, reinstall the OS, reinstall all your apps. So that kind of gets tedious. So uh, Hack has one negative point over there when it comes to soft, uh, software upgrading. So to summarize all of this, Mac is a really simple solution for your computer. It, you don't need to be a techie to understand a Mac. It's pretty simple. It leaves you to doing what you need to do and rest of it is taken care of. Hackintosh is kind of difficult when it comes to building it, maintaining it, but it's really a workhorse. You can build a very powerful machine at a very cheaper price point and it would be a really good solution for animators, for video editors, people who need a lot of processing power. But uh, if you're someone like a graphic designer, all you are gonna use is like a photo, uh, software like Photoshop or Illustrator, I guess you should go with a Mac because you don't really need to go through all the hassle of uh, building a hack. You all you don't need that much of processing power. Uh, but hey, you know what? Uh, everyone has a different need for a personal computer, and uh, so I would really like to know if you've decided to buy a Mac or a hack. Uh, why did you decide to buy the Mac? Or if you're building a hack, what made you build the hack? And what kind of hardware are you running? So leave all those things uh, down below in the comments uh, section. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this button right here. And uh, that will keep you updated with all the videos that I put up. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.